is how some of our youth feel. Research has shown that over 100,000 Muslims leave Islam every single year. Our youth are full of doubts and nobody's answering their questions. Something that is so severe, so serious, that almost every single day I deal with it. And that is Muslim youth leaving Islam. 24% of Muslim youth are leaving Islam. So one of the more shocking things that I have experienced over the course of those years is are the number of young boys and girls aged between 13 to 18 who have openly declared their apostasy to me. And I'm talking within the hundreds. However, at the same time, they have also declared to me that they are Hufad, they are prophets of the Quran. They are leading prayer to the masjid, and they are still leading that life, while simultaneously declaring their apostasy. Now, of course, they're not open about it. Why aren't they talking to their parents? Why aren't they talking to the imams, their sheikh, the scholars? And the same answer, I get the same answer from every single one of them. They're scared to tell their parents. They're scared to tell the imam. They're scared to tell the sheikh. They're scared to tell their scholars. They're scared to be shamed, and they feel as though even when they give clues, the first reaction is either anger or isolation. It is rare that you would find back home a young man or a young woman addressing their parents, their family, and telling them, I don't believe in Allah. I don't believe that Muhammad وسلم, was a messenger of Allah. I don't believe that the Quran is a book of revelation. That is unthinkable. That is the unthinkable. It is happening. It is happening continuously. Nanoya <laughs> I can't believe that the people who are living in the world are living in the world. I can't believe ಬಾಪಾನೆ I am not a psychiatrist. 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 I am not a Namada <laughs> What of all I'm momentum to put you on the answer you.